Yes, what's up people, it's Sonic. I'm back on the tutorial. Sorry I haven't uploaded in about two years. Um, basically I had computer issues, also stuff in my life I had to sort out, but now I'm back on it. So we're going to learn today the ultimate bass tutorial. So it's going to be 12 bass sounds. You might know some of them already, um, so you might learn some new ones. If you can already do them, you might learn how to do them a bit louder or crisper. Uh, either way, let's get into it. Yeah. Okay guys, the first sound is the lip roll bass, so it sounds like this. Um, basically it's done by using like a loose lip uh, oscillation, and you don't use any air from your lungs, it's just from the air built up in your mouth. So to do it like roughly, it would be like this, just a little bit of air. When you start pushing more air and keeping the lips loose, while doing like a like a biting motion, that should produce the sound, so if you blow from the lungs, it just does like a normal type of lip bass, so it's from just going a little bit of air out the mouth it's hard to get, sometimes you just have to keep, keep practicing and practicing, but just keep your lip loose, do it to the side, I find it's easier. I don't know if you can do it at the front, let's have a go. Yep, you can, so yeah. Any way you can do it, just make sure your lips are loose and you're pushing a bit of air out your mouth, not from your lungs. Okay guys, next up we've got the inward lip roll bass, so it works well with the lip roll. Um, so that would sound like this. So it's quite, it's quite a similar concept to the outward lip roll, but you're using like an inward suction and it's, it's hard to explain how to do the oscillation, it's more of just trying to keep your lips shut at the same time of doing it, which sounds a bit silly, but I'll do it close up so you can see, so... So I'm opening my mouth as the sounds starting and ending, and um, to do the inward-outward style, it's just like going... which sounds really weird, but yeah, inwards-outwards, just repetitively, so... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like saying yeah 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 yeah, but just with breath, so you can whistle like that as well, I suppose. Um, but yeah, back to, back to the sound. So, so if I keep my lip tight, it produces like a crackly sound. It's not what it wants. So when I loosen the lip a bit and sort of open our mouths as we do it, so. Okay. Okay guys, next up we've got the high bass. I think I taught this in the dubstep tutorial I did a couple of years ago. So for this, it's basically chest bass, which I'll teach quickly now, but more in, in depth in a moment. Um, so for the chest bass, it's like a H sound, and it's just humming hard through the chest. And then basically you put like a falsetto vocal on it, so... And it's just practicing, practicing. It will tickle a lot at first. I remember when I first did this sound, I could only do it a little bit, then I had to stop and rest. A little bit more, stop and rest. But now I've got to the point where I can do it quite a lot. So, um, yeah, so it's the deep bass with the vocal bass, so the vocal sound, sorry. And then as you tighten and push the vocal harder, it allows you to create more distortion. So, and I find tilt my head a bit helps with the sound, just doing it long because it restricts a bit of the air. I don't know, it might look a bit silly, but. Yeah. I'm still doing it normally. Yeah, high bass. Okay guys, so here's chest bass, it's quite hard to explain, it's from like a H sound uh, coming from your chest, so if you just go <sighs> with your mouth open, you'll feel like a vibration if you push hard enough, <sighs> that's not pushing hard enough if you're just breathing, so, <sighs> so 
And when you shut your mouth, it filters most of the air out. You can use a bit of vocal to help bring out the sound a bit more if you if it's not coming out loud enough for you. But after a bit of practice, you'll be able to sort of do it consistently. Okay, so. And that's that high bass, it's just vocalising that. So those two, two sounds are quite similar. Obviously you need the chest bass to do the high bass, I believe. Okay guys, next up we've got what I call beer bass. It's, I don't know if that's the actual name for it, it's what it just sounds like you're sort of saying when you do it. So I've heard um, Sid Effects doing it. Um, also I think um, Gene Beatbox can do it, he's crazy at doing it. Um, so it's basically like a lip bass, but you talk throughout it, and I think you use your lips looser so it can create like a. <laughs> so it's like saying beer as well as going. Um, so quite a high lip bass, basically, like a lip wobble. And it does help when you do a bass drum at the start, so. And I believe you push your, push your bottom jaw out to get the sound to go longer, that's, that's a big tip I've got as well. Okay, so... And as you push your bottom lip out... It's basically, a, yeah, I believe it's a lip roll that's vocalised and you and speak throughout the lip roll, so... So frog bass, frog bass, what the f is frog bass? It's this. So basically it's a, what is called a glottal fry, which is when you go uh, like on the grudge. Um, but you're doing it inwards, so. Uh, and then you have to basically like talk bass, like you would go but inwards so It might hurt your throat at first because it's a bit like vocal scratching when you do it inwards like You have to do that inwards and it might tickle a bit But if you just keep going you'll sort of build up a, a resistance to doing that So frog bass, yeah new bass <laughs> Okay guys next up we have the harsh lip bass, so this is a sound I don't know why I've called it this, it's just what it sounds like to me, so I'll give you a quick demo, it goes I know that Ballsy and Reaps do it, a lot of other beatbox as well do it, it's quite a cool sound it fills up a lot of the spectrum on the speakers, so So it's basically the same, same as doing the lip bass so but you're putting like a shh into it, so and you loosen your lips so it can really shake, get a lot of vibrations in there, so it really pushes the bass out of the speakers. Okay, next guys, it's like a sound that I've sort of, I don't know if this is already a sound that's been done, it's one that I do quite a bit. It's like a chopped tight lip bass, but it's not uh, a sort of oscillation on the lip, it's more of like a, a hum note that's just tuned, so I'll, I'll do it again. I think I taught it in my first <clears throat> in my first tutorial, and I don't think it was the second one, no, it's just the first one, so it's one where I go do 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 and then close my lips, so so if you're just chopping that bass up, you can do a beat like just a little different type bass, I thought it sounds quite clean, it's like a more of a wave bass instead of a shaky bass. Yeah. Okay guys, so next up we've got some lip bass sounds, we've got the classic lip bass which is just like a blowing a raspberry but you tune it to a note, so... You can get a bit spitty but you know how lip bass is. You can chop lip bass as well just by controlling your breathing as well. So do 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 
Okay, so lip base is pretty self explanatory, just like blowing a raspberry and then tuning it so it sounds nice. It's similar to the inward lip roll, but you're breathing in through your lungs. Um, so if you do an inward lip roll, it's a and if I breathe in, instead of just using the pressure of my mouth, you can also vocalise it as well, like. But I think I'm doing that inwards to do the vocalise, but I can't go outwards and inwards at the same time, obviously. Okay, so yeah, that's that. It's tongue based, okay? So it's basically like rolling your R's if you if you don't know how to do that. Uh, it's quite hard to teach because some people can't physically do it, other people can do it, some people can't but they have to learn. But yeah, I, I can roll my tongue, I've always been able to, so so you unvocalise it and it creates just like a sort of bassy sound to it, so and you can change the sound with your shape of your mouth, opening it, closing it. Uh, Contrix, the current UK champ, does it crazy where he can sort of shut his mouth and do inward um, <laughs> kicks off of it as well. Like, <laughs> can't even do it, it's too, too sick, too unique. He's really practiced that style and made it his own, so that's, that's crazy how he does that. So yeah, tongue bass. <laughs> Obviously you can wob it just like you can dubstep bass. Um, it's not really used so much nowadays, I don't really know why. I think people have just found other bass sounds they prefer to use because there are a lot of bass sounds around. So, last but not least, throat bass. Okay guys, so for throat bass you want to be able to obviously hum, so... And then what you're doing is... You're sort of growling while still humming a little, little tiny amount. So by restricting the amount of air you put out, you can do bass for longer, and it also requires less air to sort of create the bass movement, so it's more efficient. If you, if you can understand what I mean, so I'll demonstrate it. If I use a lot of air, you mainly hear the the melody, the sort of the not the melody, sorry. You mainly hear the vocal side of it with like a high throat bass buzzing along to it. So by slowing it down and releasing less air, obviously it takes time to do that, but by practicing doing it, you will be able to just go <laughs> So it's basically humming and then putting a lot of like a growl onto it and it will be you now to growl. There's William. So yeah, so hum and then growl. Growl and hum. And then open your mouth, so it might sound like that at first, I've got a bit of a dry throat and then I should have had a drink ready before doing this, but what the hell I wanted to do it. So 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 it's quite high pitched if we try and bring it down by humming lower. It's good to have just a bass drum as a metronome so you can practice doing it in a beat when you first learn it because that is slightly more difficult because obviously you're using bait, some air on the bass drum, on the kick drum. So, and see that wobble, I'm just going. Okay guys, so thanks for watching this video, I hope you've learned a few bass sounds. Um, if you can please like this video if you enjoyed it, and um, we're making stores every single week guys, so if you can just let me know in the comments what you want to learn, uh, whatever gets the most votes or the most attention, I'll try and include that and, and whatever I can as well. Um, wicked, let's go! New technicality people ready.
also guys one last thing if you heard some weird creaky weird sounds i wasn't farting i've got some weird thing for a chair if you can call it a chair really squeaky it's like a little table so yeah sorry if there's any weird noises but yeah i'll get a computer chest